football. Let's go. America's game. Whether you're a diehard fan or just looking to make some extra scratch, Nick Rivers likes to pretend that he is the prognosticator of football prognosticators, offering analysis, insight, and is nowhere near expert opinion on who will win this week's NFL games. It's Nick's Picks, only on 94.1 The Zone. All right, so it's that time of the week where I uh, like to fancy myself a football prognosticator. It's time for Nick's picks. And, uh, you know, I did okay last week. Uh, two and two, 500 on the week. Didn't win, didn't lose any cash. But uh, after trying to dig out of that 0 and 4 hole in week number two, uh, we're still 5 and 7 on the season. So we're going to look to improve upon that as I pick four games for you this and every Thursday. You may have heard it this morning, uh, but we're going to recap now uh, and let's get at it. Thursday night football. You got the Detroit Football Lions, uh, who. I think finally showed who they were this past week. They had a uh, pretty uh, solid 20-6 to win against the Atlanta Falcons. They're taking on the uh, feel-good comeback Green Bay Packers who were down 17-0 in the fourth quarter last week, and they came back to beat the Saints 18-17 in uh, Green Bay in a underdog at Lambeau Field. You don't see this much. The Lions uh, picked by lots of folks to win the NFC North this year. They're everybody's darling pick this year, so I'm going to go ahead and say that the Lions are going to cover and win the game out Outright. So your Thursday night game, take Detroit minus one and a half. Your upset of the week, man, the uh, the Vikings, they are just reeling right now as they uh, they lost a shootout to the Los Angeles Chargers last week. 28-24 it was a pretty wild game. And they go on the road to take on Carolina with a resurgent Adam Thielen, by the way. My man put up like 130 yards last week. And don't think he's not going to have a little edge against the Vikings for letting him go. Uh, the Carolina Panthers, uh, a three and a half point underdog at home. I say take the Carolina Panthers and those points, and I think they might even win the game up right, or outright. That's your upset of, week, of the week, the Carolina Panthers over the Minnesota Vikings. Lock of the week, I said it in week one, and I'm standing by it, that the uh, San Francisco 49ers are going to be the class of the NFC this year. They had a resounding 30-12 to win over the Giants last week, even though Arizona pulled the upset at home against Dallas. I think going on the road into Levi Stadium, hostile enemy territory, uh, it's not going to be so easy. The 49ers are favored by 14, and I think they cover uh, 49ers. Take that minus the 14 points. And the Buffalo Bills game this week is going to be an interesting one to say the least. The Bills convincing win last week. They won their game 37-3 over Washington. Five turnovers, a boatload of sacks. The defense looked good. However, they are going up against the offensive juggernaut known as the Miami Dolphins. And I hate to 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 to, 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 to say that the Dolphins are good, but the Dolphins are good. 726 yards last week in 70 70 seven zero points they scored. Uh, good luck to the Buffalo defense slowing that down enough to win the game. The Bills are favored by three. Uh, mainly that's because they're at home. The the experts are calling this one a toss up, and I'm going to put my money on Miami. Uh, Miami plus three against the Buffalo Bills. So there you go. Next picks for week number three of, or I'm sorry, week number four of the NFL season. You can follow along on YouTube, uh, on our YouTube channel uh, at 94.1 The Zone. Subscribe there, and you can also see all the picks uh, sitting there weekly in my updated season standings at 941thezone.com. Thank you. Good night.